you know, this is the difference between our I grandparents. Our grandparents weren't so selfish. They weren't selfish like this. I mean, they 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 didn't sit down and talk to children, or, or, or like like they need to be reasoned adults. Hey, do as I say, not as I do. But live your life this way. But I have a reason why I can't do it. But good luck. Yeah. And, and basically, <laughs> this is what happens on this mother daughter dynamic. A lot of mothers raise their daughters to I provided for you, and you just hope they turn out okay. Um. You got to know that that's not that's communicating a, 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 a paradoxical message at best. Can I say something, guys? I just want to bring up a point because, Kevin, this is also leading into the Christian values that we were speaking about. And she asked me, what is a new age Christian? Because I told her that me listening to her, she sounds like a new age Christian. Are you a she, Christian? Didn't, she didn't understand what I meant. Are you a Christian, man? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is very much new age Christian. There's nothing Christian about this. There's nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I was baptized at five. I actually thought I was called to the mystery. So that's actually kind of why I got on here. Because the certitude of which you were speaking, man, I gotta this is this modern Christian womanist feminist stuff is wrecking the black community. And if you tell you if we tell our daughters and tell you tell your okay, if you tell your daughter one thing, but then as a Christian, you do something different. What's the Christian justification for the divorce? What's the Christian uh, justification? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The reconcilable differences is not a Christian justification. <laughs> yeah. I um, made a choice uh, myself to um, get out of the marriage because it was best for me. Um, What's the Christian justification? My, What's the Christian justification? That, um, that's well, the, that's there's the never a justification, justification for a divorce. Yeah, well, there, are, there are justifications for divorce. Well, I mean, the if you want to say abuse and um, um, infidelity, you know, right. yeah. But, but, but what okay, so saying, it, what you're saying is, this is why my I have this is why I bristle when I hear women talk about Christianity or religion, and you don't live it. It's just a, it's 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 the worst kind of disingenuous. I'd rather hear a person who has no spiritual belief than a woman who calls herself a Christian. That's not what we're supposed to do. You you, you got to know better than that. That's like a Muslim to sit down and eating the pork chop in front of you. Mm hmm. Well, you know, <clears throat> sometimes well, not sometimes for me, mm -hmm. for me. It was necessary. I was um, a rent in the situation. It w it was bringing me down. It was bringing me down um, mentally, spiritually, and and it was a point he was never there anyway. You know, when I'm off work, you know, he just go hang out with his friends, and it it just wasn't good and i didn't want my daughter or even my son to continue to see this and think that this is what a marriage is supposed to be and i wasn't happy and, and i wasn't going to continue to live that way um it it, this, it wasn't productive man, so this at, man all. Is not employed at all hmm? this man is not employed at all oh he is now so where does he live um, he does like five minutes away from us. But he, does he have his own place? Yes, he came with his job that I've, no, nope, nothing. Yeah. See, see, see? I stopped myself. Ma'am, you're horrible. I j I'm horrible? Yes, you're outright. I mean, all I've heard was selfishness. I, I have a 57 year old woman on my channel right now talking about how she had to do what she had to do and had to climb the corporate ladder and I, I, my family, my family. And then very busy, she said, you know what? What's your issue that you have with black men? And as I started to talk to her, she's a mother of four with seven grandkids and her sons don't even like her. She said, what's the issue you have with black men? And I said, probably the issue your son has with you. Now, everything that's coming out of your mouth is about you. You talk about this man like he's a piece of trash. And that's like what I'm I mean, I mean, and this is the father of your children, and you, and he has a roof over his head, and he has a job. 
And these are your this is and and the way you're talking about him in front of strangers online. If you think that we believe that women like you hold back this energy around your children, it's about you. This is why I recommend therapy so much. Because you cannot be sane and think that you can talk to a 14-year-old and a 17-year-old who this ain't just started today. This has been going on for a long time. And sitting them down as a freshman in high school and saying, well, let me talk to your daughter. You know, that piece of shit in there is your father who only smokes weed and, you know, plays video games all day. I just can't, I'm just not happy. So I just want you to understand that I love you so much that I had to get away from his ass. Now, you can stay over here with him, but I'm going to go over here. And, and the fact that he has a place to live and a job and everything else, don't worry about that. Even I did that for him. I mean, come on, man. Where, where is this? Where is, where, what would Jesus do? Well, you know, um, with that being said, um, I, like I said, I take full responsibility. It's not my intention to um, be a horrible ex-wife or put them down. I'm just being honest um, with answering um, the questions. And Greta then Smith would say the same thing about Will Smith. But where is the power of life and death lies where, Christian? What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean? The power of life and death resides where, Christian? I know. I want to know what the Christian knows. Oh, okay. Where it resides, what, what after death? Um, you mean like Jesus Christ? Oh my, oh my. No, 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 no. Christian, you don't understand Proverbs 18 and 21. Tongue has the power of life and death. Oh, the tongue. Christian? Oh, okay. See, and so well, I mean, I didn't say like and, 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 and I'm saying it in a lighthearted way, ma'am, because we mm -hmm. talk about Christianity and you, you can't bring Christianity into it when you're a Christian light. It can't be your justification when you're sitting up here tattooed up, mm -hmm. divorcing your husband for grounds that are just irreconcilable differences, running a man down in front of everybody. <laughs> It's but, just this is nothing Christian about this because there's no grace, no mercy, no forgiveness. Even if you felt like you couldn't survive it anymore, cool, I get it. Where's the grace and the mercy though? She says she doesn't believe in rules in Christianity. Really? She said that. There are no rules. I mean, there are rules about a, the dress a certain length, um, shorts a certain length. You can't wear this or wear that. What about uh, so the, what about tattoos and adornments? I don't. You know. Okay. So my point I, is my point. My point is, and the reason I'm asking you these things, and, and I'm gonna, I'm, I, and I'm, and I'm taking it lighthearted because, see, being a Christian. It's just like, it's a choice. We choose. No one makes us, no, we're not compelled to be Christians or uh, Buddhists or Muslims or anything. You know, to believe in a religious system comes with its own abilities to look at something and look at the paradoxes and the hypocrisies and accept them because of faith. 